Are you experiencing intense pain on the outside of your foot, right in the middle of it? Well, it might be a condition called cuboid syndrome. I bet you never heard of this before. My name is Dr. Andrew Schneider, and I'm a podiatrist in Houston, Texas. The cuboid bone is an important one for the stability of the foot, but it gets very little press. In today's video, I'm going to discuss where the cuboid bone is, and why it might be the source of your pain. Before I do let others know about these videos, please like, comment, hit the subscribe button, and share on social media. This will help others find the information they need. I know the suspense is killing you. What and where is the cuboid bone and why should you care about it? The cuboid is one of the tarsal bones, the series of bones that make up your midfoot. It's located on the outside of your foot and it's important for the stability of your foot. Studies have shown that 5% of people have cuboid pain. That's a lot of people in pain. Another study showed that 40% of ankle sprains result in an injury to the cuboid bone. Not a fracture or anything like that, but usually a dislocation or a subluxation, and it hurts with every step you take. The symptoms of cuboid syndrome are similar to any musculoskeletal injury. First off, it's going to be sore and achy. The intensity of the pain will be different for each person. There's always some element of pain. There may be redness, and there also might be swelling. You may also find yourself walking funny. Your body's natural tendency is to move away from pain. So if the outside of your foot is hurting, you'll be inclined to shift your weight towards the inside more on your arch. When you come into the office with pain like this, I'll certainly take an x-ray. Sometimes I can see the cuboid rotated and out of position. If it doesn't tell me enough, I can send you for an MRI or a CT scan. Those are more sensitive tests and we can see if there's a sprain or if there's something else like a stress fracture. If you don't feel ready to come to the doctor, there are some things you can try at home. First of all, you can manipulate the cuboid bone easily. It's the bone right behind the protrusion on the outside of your foot. Yes, everyone has that bone sticking out. Grab the cuboid on the top and bottom of your foot, just pinch it, and rotate it back and forth, maybe 10 or 15 times, that's all. Then do the same thing for the fifth metatarsal. That's the bone on the other side of the protruding bone on the side of your foot that everyone has. Ice is also very helpful. Ice is a natural anti-inflammatory. Freeze a water bottle and roll it under your foot. Do it while you're sitting and use moderate pressure. Roll it from your heel all the way to the ball of your foot and do this for about five minutes or so. You should also make sure you're wearing supportive shoes. You should even wear an insole or an orthotic for additional stability. This helps to support and stabilize the cuboid. Stretching is also helpful. You want to stretch your calf and hamstrings. You can stretch on your own or you can use a foam roller. They work great for these muscles. These stretches will affect the tendons that influence the cuboid. The looser they are, the less pull on the bone. But seriously, if the pain lasts more than a few days, come into the office. Let's make sure it's not anything worse. It'll get you feeling better faster. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Please take a moment to like, comment, and share on social media. Be sure to subscribe so you won't miss another video. If you have found that the outside of your foot has been hurting for a while, or you have any other pain in your feet, don't hesitate to contact the office for an appointment. That link is in the description. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.